Have you ever pondered over the economic stability of the late 20th century? What made it possible? Let's dive into a fascinating chapter of American economic history. Picture it. The mid-20th century, a time of remarkable calm in the stormy seas of the economy. This quiet spell, spanning from the mid-80s to the early 90s, is often referred to as the Great Moderation, a term coined by none other than James Stock and Mark Watson, two brilliant economists in the mid-90s. The Great Moderation is characterized by a significant reduction in the volatility of economic fluctuations. It was a time when the ups and downs of the economy didn't feel quite as dramatic, as if the roller coaster ride of economic growth, inflation, and unemployment had been replaced by a gentle cruise. One of the most noticeable signs was the decrease in the severity of recessions. The economic downturns of this era were milder and shorter lived than those of previous decades. It was as though the economy had found its sea legs, able to navigate the choppy waters of the global market with newfound stability. But what brought about this period of moderation? The answer is complex and multifaceted. Some attribute it to better monetary policy, while others point to structural changes in the economy such as the shift from manufacturing to services. And of course, there are those who believe it was simply good luck, a fortunate run in an otherwise tumultuous economic landscape. Whether you attribute it to skill, structural changes, or sheer luck, there's no denying the impact of the great moderation. It was a time of relative tranquility in the economy, a period that allowed businesses and households to plan for the future with greater certainty. This period of economic stability known as the Great Moderation may appear as a myth to some, but it was a reality that had profound effects on the American economy. So was the Great Moderation just a fortunate anomaly, or was it a testament to the strength and resilience of the American economy? Stick around as we delve deeper into this intriguing economic phenomenon. So, how did this period of economic tranquility begin? Let's take a trip back in time to the mid-80s, when the United States was on the cusp of a remarkable economic transformation. This period, dubbed the Great Moderation, was characterized by lower volatility in output and inflation, leading to a period of relative economic stability. But what sparked this period of economic tranquility? The answer lies in a combination of monetary policy changes, structural changes, and a good dose of luck. Firstly, the monetary policy underwent significant changes. This policy shift, led by the Federal Reserve under the chairmanship of Paul Volcker, aimed to tame inflation. Volcker and his team were successful in their mission, and the subsequent reduction in inflation volatility played a significant role in ushering in the Great Moderation. Secondly, we must consider the structural changes that occurred in the economy. Technological advancements and increased globalization led to a shift in the structure of the economy. The rise of the service sector and the decline of the manufacturing sector altered the economic landscape. This structural shift contributed to the reduction in output volatility, another hallmark of the great moderation. Lastly, let's not forget the role of good luck. During this period, the United States experienced fewer economic shocks, both domestically and internationally. The absence of major oil price shocks or significant shifts in fiscal policy helped maintain economic stability. Yet it's important to note that economists are still debating the relative importance of these factors. Some argue that monetary policy changes were the primary driver, while others place more emphasis on structural changes or good luck. However, the consensus is that all these factors, in some combination, contributed to the onset of the Great Moderation. This period of economic stability was not just a fluke, but the result of deliberate policy measures, structural changes, and favorable economic conditions. Regardless of the causes, the onset of the Great Moderation marked a significant shift in the American economy. It was a period that would reshape the economic landscape of the United States and leave a lasting impact on future generations. The Great Moderation wasn't just a period of reduced volatility, it had far-reaching implications. Let's dive into the implications this period had on the American economy. During the Great Moderation, we witnessed a significant increase in consumer confidence. This wasn't surprising given the stable and predictable nature of the economy during this period. The average Joe and Jane felt more secure in their financial futures and this feeling of security translated into increased spending. The ripple effect of this spending boosted economic output, creating a virtuous cycle of growth and stability. This surge in consumer confidence wasn't limited to just everyday purchases, though. 
it extended into larger, more significant investments, such as the housing market. A stable economy meant people felt more comfortable taking on long-term financial commitments. The housing market thrived as a result, experiencing an upswing that hadn't been seen in decades. But it wasn't just the housing market that reaped the benefits. The financial markets also experienced the positive effects of the Great Moderation. With a stable economy, financial institutions could make loans and investments with greater confidence. This led to an era of financial innovation, birthing new financial products and services. This was a period of great prosperity, but it was also a time when the seeds of future crises were unwittingly sown. The Great Moderation also had an effect on government policy. With the economy performing so well, there was less pressure on policymakers to intervene. This laissez-faire approach allowed the economy to grow naturally. But it also meant that when things started to go wrong, the government was less prepared to step in and rectify the situation. In essence, the Great Moderation was a double-edged sword. On one hand, it brought about an era of economic prosperity and growth. On the other, it created a sense of complacency that would eventually contribute to the onset of future economic downturns. The Great Moderation, therefore, had a profound and wide-ranging impact on the American economy. Like all good things, the Great Moderation had to come to an end. The period, characterized by a seemingly unending cycle of economic prosperity and stability, couldn't last forever. It came to a screeching halt with the onset of the 2008 financial crisis, also known as the Great Recession. A series of complex factors led to this abrupt end. One of the most significant was the infamous housing bubble burst, an economic phenomenon that sent shockwaves across the world. For years leading up to 2008, home ownership was highly encouraged and people were buying houses at an unprecedented rate. The housing market was booming and it seemed like the good times were never going to end. But like a balloon pumped with too much air, the housing market eventually burst, leading to a severe economic recession. The bursting of the housing bubble was not a standalone incident, it was intricately linked to the global financial crisis that soon followed. Financial institutions worldwide had invested heavily in the US housing market, and when it collapsed they found themselves in a precarious situation. Banks were going under, economies were tumbling, and the world was plunged into a state of financial chaos. The end of the Great Moderation was not just the end of an era of economic stability, it was the beginning of a new era of economic uncertainty. It served as a harsh reminder that economies are not infallible, that they can and do falter. It was a wake-up call for policymakers, economists, and the general public alike, forcing them to reassess their understanding of economic stability and growth. In hindsight, the Great Moderation could be seen as a period of complacency. We were lulled into a false sense of security by the steady growth and stability, failing to notice the warning signs. And when the bubble burst, we were caught off guard. But as with all periods of upheaval, the end of the Great Moderation also brought about opportunities for change and growth. It forced us to rethink and reshape our economic policies and strategies, leading to new ways of managing and understanding our economies. The end of the Great Moderation marked a new era of economic uncertainty. So, what does the Great Moderation mean for us today? The legacy of the Great Moderation is far-reaching and multifaceted. It's a period that has left indelible marks on economic thinking and policy, shaping the way we approach economic stability and growth. The Great Moderation taught us that it's possible to achieve a state of relative economic calm, characterized by low inflation, stable growth, and reduced volatility. But it also reminded us of the importance of vigilance, as even the most seemingly stable economies can be blindsided by unforeseen shocks. One lesson learned from this period is the crucial role of monetary policy in maintaining stability. Central banks around the world have since recognized the importance of controlling inflation and have adopted strategies to do so. This has led to better managed economies and a more predictable business environment. However, the Great Moderation also left us with some cautionary tales. It demonstrated that prolonged periods of stability can breed complacency, leading to excessive risk-taking and financial bubbles. This has been a key lesson for policymakers who now strive to balance stability with the need for vigilance and regulation. The impact of the Great Moderation continues to be felt in today's economy. Its principles have been integrated into mainstream economic thinking, influencing the way we understand and manage economic cycles. 
The period has also left its mark on financial institutions and businesses, shaping their strategies and expectations. Moreover, the Great Moderation has affected the global economy. The strategies and policies developed during this period were adopted by economies worldwide, contributing to a more integrated and interconnected global economic system. In essence, the Great Moderation was a time of learning and growth. It was a period that proved stability is achievable, but it also underscored the need for caution and regulation. Its lessons continue to guide us, shaping current economic thinking and policy. The Great Moderation, despite its end, left a lasting legacy on the American and global economy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.